Good afternoon. It's uh, 1240 in the afternoon. 80 degrees in and 44 out and still raining on and off. Uh, just finished working on the videos and comments. Outside it is dark and gray. Third day of no power at the off-grid homestead. Uh, batteries are at 12.2 volts. I just finished checking the battery bank. 12.2 volts. Now this is after three days of hardly any sun at all. 30 watts at midday. Uh, three days of this, 12.2 volts is not bad considering I have been running LED lights and the internet and my laptop. Now I have run the laptop during the day quite a bit, mornings especially, doing videos and answering comments. But, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I just finished chasing chickens. I'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> so I've been spending my morning alternating between chasing chickens and uh, working on the computer. But the batteries are holding. Last night they got down to 12.0 volts on day two of no sun, no solar, no generator. So... I'm um, really putting a test on these this forklift battery to see it does have usable energy. I was just too nervous to ever use it below 12.2 volts, which is where it seems to sit at rest no matter how much current I pump into it and no matter what the temperature. Although funny enough, it's only 49 degrees out uh, in the in the batteries, although it's 44 out. The um, there hasn't been any current going into the battery, so there's there, it's not being heated up. So that uh, allows the battery to equalize with the outdoor temperature. But anyway, I have been running my laptop. I'll charge it up, then I'll run it on its own battery. Charge it up, run it on its own battery, and this has been uh, this is the third day of this. So that's I mean the battery is working. It's not where I like it to be but we'll give it another month and see how it turns out once the weather warms up now why I've been out of breath I've been chasing chickens all day the fence the chicken coop is destroyed the winter was brutal the winds recently that destroyed my meadow have put a lot of holes and rips in the fencing and in the the poles and we're in this intermediate stage right now where the ground is frozen the top two inches are pure mud and slop, but under that is ice. And it's going to take time before the, the, the ground thaws where I can pound in stakes again. So in the meantime, I'm sitting here, I'm running around trying to stop the chickens from escaping. And they're finding holes everywhere and creating more holes. Uh, whereas ne they've never before tried to get out till now. I guess they've got spring fever just like the cat. Everybody wants out. Um, I've got to run out. I see they're they're digging in the corner even as I speak. So I'll be back in a minute. Fired up the generator so I can come in and edit part two of the maple syrup harvesting video, which I wanted to do for uh, was supposed to be live this morning, but instead I ended up doing the emergency live update on the. Uh, house, tiny house siding, because a lot of people were telling me I shouldn't do what I was doing. Uh, which makes me remember, I fired up the generator so I can put a bunch of batteries uncharged. Everything is dead. I have de I have emptied and discharged all of my batteries. Um, by the way, don't you love how the modern laptops are a mirror? Um, I never understood why they made a portable workstation into a mirror so that actually if the angle was right <laughs> hi there wait there we go hi there you can see me and not my work <laughs> why did they do that with laptops I never could understand see hello um can't see what you're working on but anyway so I have the monitor at an odd angle let me see if I can try not to look at my face I have the monitor at an odd angle so I can work at all anyway um so I've got the generator fired up. I'm going to plug in all my uh, Railby batteries, and I hope to get back outside and cut some more pallet wood. Um, I'm going to prepare a whole mess of pallets and get ready and carry on with the siding unless something else comes up or shows itself. 
Um, somebody was trying to hook me up with some vinyl siding, but it doesn't look like it's happening at this time. Uh, I want to thank you for the effort, and we'll see what happens. Well, I've got to move forward with work in the meantime, and, uh, oh no, I can't. I can get the batteries charged, but everything's wet. I can't cut wet wood, but I'll get the batteries charged, and, uh, and get ready. It's supposed to rain today, tomorrow, and snow on Sunday, so uh, winter is holding its grip on the land. What's a guaranteed way to clear up the weather? Fire up the generator. Not complaining here. That is certainly a pleasant sight. Although it's supposed to rain yet still the entire weekend. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. The sun makes me sneeze. Uh, pause. I'll be right back. I don't know why, but sudden changes in brightness causes me to sneeze. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm alone in the world with this, but it's weird. Um, anyway, it's looking good out there. Well, somewhat. At least I've got some solar coming in. We'll go have a look over here in a minute. But that is definitely a nice sight. After all the uh, darkness and wind and damp cold we've had for days. Definitely looking good. Let's go over and check out the solar. 150 watts. It's not going to rock the world, but... Oops, it dropped. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to leave the generator running anyway, because that's only 10 amps coming in. And those batteries can take it. They need it. I'll probably run two tanks of gas through the generator and pump these back up. So, looking good in the tiny house on wheels. Black Kitten doesn't know how to play nice. That's, um, that's fur flying. Baby Cat is mad. But they don't stop. She does not back down. She's tough. She's a fighter. Boy. We might have to stop this because, um, she, she doesn't stop. Baby cat, are you going to get all bleeding, aren't you? Huh? There's... That's not a good thing. Actually, where's black cat? That's not good at all. Oh, poor baby cat. Baby cat, how you doing? You're not going to stop though, are you? Huh? You're going to go in for more. There she goes. She doesn't back down. She's a fighter. She's a tough cat. It's half playing, I think, and half getting serious. Boy, I got a mess to clean up. I've got a package coming to mail all the way from Ireland from my friend Goliath Man. Don't exactly know what's in here. So try out my uh, knife from Ontario Knife Company here. Got to be really careful. This is so razor sharp. I'm actually cutting really gently so I don't go all the way through. Let's see what we got. Aha! He knows I love that coffee. <laughs> well, thank you, Goliath man. And there's obviously another video. Goliath Man gives me some uh, some videos of beautiful Ireland. All right, some coffee. This is good stuff. Well, thank you, and uh, I definitely definitely enjoy it. Thank you, Goliath Man. Well, I got the chickens penned in for now. So far, nobody's escaping anymore. I've just been improvising uh, repairs. I've got a gas can that I hope has some decent gas in it. I want to go and see if I can start... Oh yeah, I've got to grab some uh, 
starter fluid. Hold on a minute. I left the door open here so I could grab it. Uh, just a minute. Starting fluid. Okay. I got this because that garden tractor hasn't been run all winter. It uh, stopped where it stopped. And that's where it, it never ran from there. Seems to be losing gas, although I can't find a leak, it's always empty. Which is odd as well. I can't find any leaks. But yet it's never got any fluid in it. Uh, it stayed above freezing last night, so the maple sap isn't flowing very fast. It's an off day. Oh, there's a the one gallon jug's over overfilled, so I'll have to empty them. Haven't been able to get the the evaporator going because everything's wet. I'll probably be burning this wood right here. This is for my house, and this is scraps for burning. Actually, I think I'm going to cut some of that up for the house. That's relatively dry, and here's another pile of somewhat burning scraps. So this whole thing hasn't run because the choke doesn't work, and the uh, gas can, gas tank has been empty. I don't know why. I'm sure I had gas in it last time I parked it. Let's see if I can do this like this. Probably a bad idea. Hope this is good gas. I want to get enough in there to see if it'll start. I don't know if this is good gas. I'm going to hold this. Let's get a little bit in there. It's probably from spring. Yeah, it was from last, last spring, so I'm hoping it'll work. Now, I've had this uh, solar panel on here all winter to hopefully keep the battery from being discharged. So we'll see how that works. I want to get some starting fluid inside the air filter and hope, hope that it'll fire up because oh, I need a new air filter in a bad way. If I remember right, they didn't carry this one in. Oh yeah, that's ugly. Oh yeah, that's bad. It's another upgrade for this for summer. The choke is stuck open. The cable is wrecked. So I've got to get a new cable. Hope this will run. Alright, I probably gotta prime the fluid through. Rabbit speed is good. Turn it off. It did recharge over the winter, so that's good. Hopefully, I can keep it running. Either the gas is bad or I've just got to prime that line. I guess we'll see in a minute. Hope it's not the gas because I hate to have to clean it out now. I just want to run this thing. There it is. Come on. Yes. solar panel did the job. That was good. I'm just going to set that there. Nice.
bunch of gear out of the car that's been there all winter. Take this up to the car. We'll go get some clean gas. And all the stuff I got in there. Put some bed liner in this trailer this year too. I didn't get to it last year in time. There's 
white round ones and the big white one for fish tanks and for aquaponics planters. I'm thinking I can use these. I might not have to buy anything for aquaponics. I might find everything out here in the shopping mall. Look at this. This is why I can't drive here. I drove the truck last. Well, I'm going to sign off and I'll see you out there at the car. It won't be long and I'm not going to be able to get through here either. I got the tractor stuck, but I got it in out. Where is it? Right here I got stuck. Pretty bad. But anyway. I guess I could pull up a little. Yeah, I'll pull up a little. It's a mess. Of course, here or there is muddy or muddy, huh? Well, oh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it here because it's flat ground and my brakes aren't working. I've gotta fix that too. So much to fix now. The brakes quit working on it. Look, nature wise, layer feed pellets. From Neutrina. That's what I give my birds. As they say, you are what you eat, right? And if I want to be eating those eggs, I want to give them good stuff. Oh, that's a mess. This stuff is hit and miss. If they have it in, you grab it. If, if they don't, then you're stuck without. Oh, it's heavy. Uh oh, looks like I had a mouse. And I've got moisture. Not good. Not good at all. What else we got in here? A lot of dirt, a lot of tools. One day I'm going to show you what I carry every day in here. Uh, just for daily carry. For emergency and road repairs and trips. But uh, that's it for now. Alright, well I'm going to check what's in the car and then I'll head up to the house and I'll see you there. Actually I decided to show you the road itself. I 
they're organic because nobody sprays them. No fertilizer, no nothing. Nobody eats them. There's some more garbage. Actually, that one trailer, there's a lawnmower that's broke. There's a trailer, which is mine. I bought it for $25. That's going to be a chicken coop. Then there's another trailer, which is going to be mine. The uh, blue trailer is going to be for hauling deer in. The uh, flatbed trailer, it has a bent axle, but for a chicken coop, it's perfect. It's going to be good. Looks like there's more rain coming. bird some water over here at the uh, rainwater collector uh, good old rainwater collector I'm not freezing up at night anymore so that's a good thing I was freezing up every night Although we've had below freezing temperatures quite a few nights in a row. Um, it hasn't been as bad. My water isn't freezing solid anymore. And my rainwater collector is staying uh, thawed out for me at least. That's good. Fresh water is important. See this is black so it's uh, basically passively solar heated. I'm not even plugging that in anymore either. Don't need it now, which is good. <laughs> that silky bird's a big boy now. Well, I got that. That was a one day old little tiny chick when I got him. The three silkies. There's the only silky girl I got, little puffer ball. Little silky girl. And then I got two roosters, just luck of the draw. I'll probably sell one this year. I kept all the roosters this winter because I wanted to see, make sure they all survived. And then uh, once the snow is off the ground, I'm going to uh, build some new chicken coops and divide up the birds properly into breeds. And I'll have separate breeding pens and little chicken coops. So silkies will go together, little miniature tiny birds will go together. These little tiny dove looking ones, I love them. And then uh, breed them for sale. Now yeah, birds! Big Boy is the leader of the bunch now. Big Red, he took over again. It was the silver one which is coming up right now was the boss, but Big Red took over again and Big Boy attacked me this morning. He really came at me. He is, uh, he's aggressive in taking his stand as the leader again. He's also fattening himself up this spring. He's putting some, on some muscle. Ah, uh, he's the boss. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I just want to share with you something amazing I have discovered. <laughs> Forgive the mess in the sink, I spilled little seeds everywhere. I am doing some seed sprouting and I have here, what is this, this is spelt, sorry I looked away for a minute. These are three days old spelt and the tray below is barley. This is uh, day one, oh, well I soaked them overnight so this would be day one and uh, already, I've got to give these a rinse, but already you'll see, let me see if I can zoom in and show you. Come on, focus, focus, focus. 
you can see little well I tried to you can see little knobs at the end of each grain at the very tip of each kernel there's little little buds starting to form already on day one so this is fast that was already visible this morning now these little guys there was no green on these this morning and these were nutty tasting they had three large see uh, there's three long this says has a short you're gonna make me a liar but there's usually three roots and a green stem on each seed now this morning these tasted nutty and I've been munching on these all day this morning they had a nutty taste look at the root system on them that's a lot of roots on them and then the green sprouts but um, this morning they had a very nice muddy taste and but they had a very odd uh, texture to the green head itself it wasn't unpleasant but it's something to get used to and now they start out with a nutty taste but this right now is nature's candy this is like eating candy but without the guilty conscience afterwards this is like pure sugar right now this is so amazingly sweet I can't believe how incredible this is just like eating uh, candy really this is nature's candy and this is the spelt sprouted spelt I've never had something like this so sweet so nice so awesome I'm gonna eat half of these tonight give them a rinse so they'll be safe overnight and then I'm gonna try the rest tomorrow just to see what day three is like wait day two or three I think this is the beginning I think this is day three yeah see what they're like tomorrow day four but this is just like candy and all the vitamins and minerals and nutrients are released when you sprout and the fact that it has turned to sugar shows me how much of a change the seeds go through when they're growing like this mmm you gotta try it spelt it's quite amazing really impressive